Hello everyone, I'm Marina and this is Sacramel School. On Instagram, I came across one very interesting design, for which I'm going to need a food wrap. I promise, it will be very beautiful and dazzling. Let's get into it. Let's take a look at my model's nails. We did a content shooting on her, so I've already done a manicure, buffed the surface and covered it with the base coat. We just need to set up the forms and get to the most exciting part – sculpting and design. So it's totally fine if you do a manicure and apply a base coat and only the next day you will do an extension. Now I need to degrease the base coat. I won't apply any more base, so I proceed with the form setup. I want you to point out the fact that I cut the free edge completely. In some areas I love the natural nail, for example here on the ring finger, so the free edge is symmetrical. If I had filed it off following the nail growth, it would have been inconvenient to set up the form. I would have had to cut it deeper. We will shape almonds. The forms I use are from Artex. I remove the central part, cut the perforation, pull out the center, and then make a cut not too deep, so that the form gets right under the nail, without any gaps. I can mark the areas where I need to make cuts, or you can just remember them. Small cuts, around 5 mm deep. Now we can remove the substrate, stick the form ear to ear precisely. Put the template like this and squeeze it into a sharp needle to the central black line to form the almond shape. I set it up on the finger from the bottom, stick the upper ears, check if the central axis of the template follows the central axis of the finger. And after that, I can stick the lower ears and squeeze the shape well under the finger. To make a triangle, so that we get beautiful, elegant almonds. The form is set up straight. These forms are very sticky, so I can do a few nails at once. On the middle finger, there is not enough space for the form to get to the gross points. I cut out 0.5 mm and marked where I need to make cuts. Do a control check and set up the form on the finger. What's special about my model's nails is that the nail bed is long and there's a chance to get the form under the hyponychium. We should not do it, but if it still happens, Peel off the back ears and set the form again. Don't push the form under the nail too hard. Pull it towards yourself. Set it up under the nail, without any gaps, and now completely squeeze the form. To form the underlay, I will use such milky gel for sculpting. The layer should be very thin. I grab a small amount of gel and apply it between the natural nail and the form. First, I pull out the length I need and then shape almonds. Work carefully so that you don't need to clean up and file later. Get the material to the gross points. Make sure to put the finger to the side and get the material there. The tags often leave this area without the material, which can lead to chipping. Don't be afraid to turn the client's finger the way it's convenient for you since if you keep it static, then you won't see the flaws on the sides. First, we need to form a straight line and then a smooth lift upwards. If you form a sharp lift from the point of growth to the free edge straight away, the nails will get too sharp and fragile along the sidewalls and will easily break. Remove all the axes to the center and proceed with forming the underlay on the second nail.
compare the lengths of the nails. It can be done using a compass, a meter, or this exact form on which we extend the nails. I sent two nails to the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. Cured, and now set up the forms on the rest of the nails. Actually, aquarium designs have been especially popular lately. The ones with pigments and glitter. I really think that they look gorgeous. They are bright and eye-catching, but still not too pretentious. I personally love such designs. Recently, I was showing you a video with them, and today we're doing exactly this type of the design. In fact, as they say, fashion is cyclical, and it's very cool that these forgotten aquarium designs are back again, because they are so charming and magical, and whenever you cover up such a design with a top coat, you are extremely happy about your creation. While my model is curing her thumb, I will prepare a food wrap. I need small fragments of it for each nail. You can use scissors or just shoot it off like that. By the way, when I teach sculpting courses and I don't have such a wrap with me, I tear off a similar film from the water bottles that we order. The only thing is that the film is thicker, so it's still better to use the food one I'm using right now because it is thinner. I have already prepared the wrap pieces. Now we will apply a sculpting layer of the white milky gel. I smear the nail plate a little so that the gel spreads over it. Carefully painting near the cuticle area and on the sides. Then I grab a big sculpting drop, put it in the center and spread. Following the sculpting rules, I tilt the finger slightly down, so the material does not flow onto the cuticle. I also don't get it close to the sides, because after applying the wrap, there may be leaks. I pull the material to the free edge, so we get such a thick layer. I ask my model to turn a hand over, so the material could flow to the center, while I'm straightening the piece of the wrap. Turn it over and put it on the nail like this. And now the most interesting step. I need to take an orange stick and just like this, I start squeezing the film, forming high borders on the surface. We need to get such a wrinkled effect. It was used in aquarium designs before. For example, we do French tips and this technique as well. And here we do it on the entire nail and send it to the lamp to cure right with the food wrap. Now remove the wrap very carefully so as not to tear it off and we get such a sharp hedgehog effect and repeat the same process on the rest of the nails. A thin layer to moisturize the surface, the finger is tilted down, I put a big sculpting drop in the central part of the nail and spread it to the cuticle, a little bit on the sides, spread it on the free edge, pop the bubble, I ask my model to turn the hand, I stretch the film, turn it over and put it on the nail. Here are the borders. The higher they will be, the better. Because we will need these lines to remain white after filing. By the way, I thought that I could have used not a milky gel, but a bright white one. It would also look great. Now let's proceed with the design. For this, we will need different nail powders. Golden, bronze, other shades of brown. But I didn't have a brown one, 
So I got the idea to take the eyeshadows that I use in my makeup routine. Unfortunately, the palette suffered a little on the last flight from Sochi where I went skiing. But the shadows didn't lose their colors. So you can use them as well since they are very pigmented and easy to apply. Working with nail powders makes sure to cover the desk with paper, otherwise your workplace will be snowed under them. And as I always say, try not to sneeze, because then it will be not only on the desk, but all over your face. Now I grab some pigment and randomly rub it in. With such strokes. Grab another shade. This one is very beautiful, golden bronze shade. It shines perfectly. And now let's take some golden Yuki flakes. They give more sparkle. Let's add a little bit of silver. Look, it's so sparkly. And now I take my eyeshadows of a darker shade, a brown one. To add a pop of color. And with a fluffy brush, I rub in the pigment. Remove the excess. I don't apply a lot near the cuticle, so that there are no liftings. It's so beautiful. There is a nice fabric, even satin effect. So gorgeous. And we move on to the next. I carefully remove the forms. I know what you are thinking now. The nails are rich. But no, they won't remain like that. Here the main design point is to file them later and get to the lines of the milky gel. Now I take a clear medium viscosity gel. I've got this one. It looks pink in a jar, but in fact it's clear. Grab a big drop. We need such liquid consistency so that it could get between all the folds of our previous gel layer. Fill it in and check the architecture from the side. Don't apply too much. Otherwise, you will have to file a lot. To be honest, there is still a lot to file, so don't overdo. It is more convenient to use a thin brush near the cuticle. I can turn the client's hand to spread the material. Helping with a thin brush, I sand it to the lamp to cure for one minute. The most important thing is that while laying out the gel, you shouldn't touch pigments so that the glitter does not get into the jar with gel. So I pull the gel just from the top, carefully laying it out. Or use such a gel that you only use working with glitter. Or the one you don't need. Otherwise, all of your clients will get not planned glitter nails. Done with the layout, cured well for 2 minutes, now wipe off the tacky layer and start filing. It will take too long to file such a thick layer, so first file the surface with an e-file and then finish it off with a regular one. I'm using a green carbide drill bit. Place it like this and start moving from right to left, smoothing out the surface. You can already see how the white lines appear, the ones we need. I try to form the architecture with an e-file, in order to work less with the file. I will use a 100 slash 180 grit abrasive. First we file off the free edge, getting the file under the nail plate. On the sides, we put the finger to the side 
and file the lower parallels. The cuticle area with the soft side and smooth out the surface. I think this design will look amazing not only with gold and bronze powders, but also with blue or purple ones. Every time you will get a unique design. With blue, it will be like the sea. With pink, like some other stone. So experiment and try it out, because there are no limits. We can do this design not only in sculpting, but also in a gel polish system. There we will have to file the base from the top for the lines to appear. After filing, there are bubbles on some nails. It happens because the gel did not get into all the dips, so I degrease it and add the gel in these areas. After curing, I wipe off the tacky layer and buff the surface. Now degrease it, remove all the dust, and what is left to do is to cover it up with a top coat and admire our dazzling result. I apply non-tacky glossy top coat and I love this very magic. When the aquarium design starts to sparkle and shine. This is the coolest feeling when you see the result. Why you did all this work? It looks incredible. Let's look at the nails. With such a voluminous design, they don't look bulky. The tips are thin, so we have followed all the sculpting rules, but yet the nails look multi-layered, complex and beautiful. Our finished result. This design reminds me of amber or other stone. Write your associations in the comments, give a thumbs up and I wish you all success in your work. Good luck, bye bye!